Have you ever imagined what spurred the Gumas Rebellion, a significant event in the history of Odisha, India? A rebellion led by tribal Kanda tribe, whose ripples were not just confined to the political and military realm, but also touched upon the social, economic, administrative and religious aspects of the region. In the early 19th century, the Gumas region was under the rule of the Turks. Their exploitative policies and constant interference in the social and religious affairs of the local tribal population became the catalyst for the rebellion. The Turks' intention to extract a hefty tribute from the landlords sowed the seeds of discontent. With each passing day, the landlords found it increasingly difficult to preserve their dignity, independence and religious beliefs under the oppressive Turkish rule. In the year of 1836, the discontentment reached a boiling point when the Gumus Zamindari was merged with the Turkic Empire. The local population saw no hope of re-establishing the Banj Raj in their Zamindari, fueling their resentment against the Turks. Religion played a significant role too. The activities of Christian priests, leading to the conversion of many tribals, created a deep rift among the otherwise simple and faithful local tribal population. To preserve their faith, they resorted to rebellion. The first wave of the Gumus Rebellion, from 1815 to 1837, was led by Kamalachan Dora Bisoyi, the chief of the Malua Kanda region and the governor of Gumus state. The second wave, from 1844 to 1856, was led by Chakra Bisoyi, a fearless Kanda leader who was incensed by the Turks for several reasons. Chakra Bisoyi was driven by vengeance against the Turks for the death of his father and uncle, the grief of his daughter and mother, and the brutal killing of his chief aide, Bunya Sardar. He was also irked by the abolition of the mayor's custom and the Turks' support to the patriots of Gumusar. In summary, the Gumus Rebellion was a significant event in the history of Odisha, fueled by political, social, economic, administrative and religious factors. The rebellion was led by fearless leaders like Kamalochan Dora Bisoyi and Chakra Bisoyi, who were driven by a desire to preserve their dignity, independence and religious beliefs against the oppressive Turkish rule.